This Civic Media Podcast is sponsored by UW Organ and Tissue Donation. Organ donations are desperately needed, and now is the right time to become an organ donor. Talk to your family. Get the dot. Save lives. Go to HeroicDeed.com. This is your WBZH Daily News Roundup. For the Buzz of the North, 910 a.m. in Hayward. For 910 WBZH News, I'm James Kelly. An Ashland man is facing charges after being accused of operating a UTV while intoxicated and getting into an accident. 42-year-old Chase Olby faces a maximum of four years in prison if convicted. Law enforcement authorities say they responded to reports of the accident at Yankovic Road in White River and found the UTV leaning against an electric pole with three occupants who had all suffered minor injuries. They also say a preliminary breath test found that Olby had a blood alcohol content of nearly 0.3, which is over triple the legal limit. Plans for an RV park in Washburn County have been paused as campground owners challenge new regulatory restrictions. The Wisconsin Association of Campground Owners filed a lawsuit last year challenging what they called excessive restrictions under the new ordinances passed in 2023. The RV park was planned for Crystal Township and Springbrook, but the owner needed a conditional use permit from the county, which is the subject of the lawsuit. Under the new ordinance, all campgrounds and resorts require the conditional use permit from the county. The Burnett Medical Center has officially been redesignated as a Level 4 trauma care facility. The designation is crucial for the Northwest Wisconsin region as there are only a handful of Level 4 trauma centers in the area. To receive that recognition, healthcare facilities must prove to state officials that they have adequate protocols in place to care for trauma patients. The designation allows the facility to offer better equipment, higher levels of care, and expedite the process of transferring patients to other facilities if they need specialized care. The Wisconsin Department of Workforce Development has announced $4.3 million in funding to help residents affected by the opioid crisis. The funding will be used to create disaster relief positions through the National Health Emergency Dislocated Worker Grant to provide humanitarian needs as a result of opioid use. The opioid crisis was declared a public health emergency in 2017 with the rise of fentanyl, and since then opioid-related hospitalizations and overdose deaths have risen sharply. The Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources is reporting a slight uptick in the number of hunters for the gun deer hunt season, but the early harvest is still down. According to a press release, the number of licenses sold went up by about half a percent from 2023, but the number of deer registered on opening weekend dropped by about 2% from last year and sits about 5% lower than the five-year average. Officials say the lower harvest numbers are likely caused by the hunting season being the latest it can legally be this year. In preparation for a busy holiday travel season, AAA has announced it will once again activate its tow-to-go service. The service offers a safe ride for Wisconsin residents who become impaired while taking part in holiday festivities, bringing both them and their car to a safe place within a 10-mile radius. The tow-to-go service is free to use for anyone, even if you're not a member of AAA. The service should only be used in emergencies, and if travelers plan to partake in activities that could leave them impaired, they should plan their travel ahead of time. Barron County officials are making progress on plans to conduct maintenance work on the Rice Lake Dam over the summer. The county thus far has struggled to find bidders to take on the project, and officials say they now plan to purchase the parts for the maintenance work themselves and then provide them to the eventual installers. The plan is to have the installations fully completed by the end of September. Officials also say that the planned work should not disrupt the recreation options on the lake, so residents can fully enjoy it over the summer. Duluth International Airport officials are seeking more funding after reporting a record high number of flights in September. Officials say there were over 17,000 flights at the airport in September, which outpaced the previous record-setting August by about 2,000. They say an increase in funding will help the airport meet the rapidly growing demand. The Duluth International Airport is already planning a number of significant infrastructure upgrades, including the construction of a new air traffic control tower they hope will be finished by 2026. The Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources will officially begin selling state park passes under their new 12-month system next week. Earlier this year, Governor Tony Evers approved a bill that would allow state park passes to be valid for 12 months from the month that they were purchased, rather than expiring at the end of the calendar year. The hope is more residents will buy the 12-month pass and take advantage of all the outdoors activities the state offers. The new passes can be purchased online or at state park properties starting on Monday. Wisconsin Senator Tammy Baldwin has announced over $100 million in funding to help struggling residents lower their energy bills. According to a press release, the funding will come from the Low-Income Home Energy Assistance Program and the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law. 
The program will provide payment and assistance for residents to pay their energy bills and help them winterize their homes to become more energy efficient. Any residents who are interested in seeing if they qualify for the program can do so online. For 910 WBZH News, I'm James Kelly. The Bucks are back to 500. Hi, I'm Mike Clemens with Sports. The Bucks with a 106 to 103 win over the Heat in Miami. Milwaukee's win loss record now even at nine and nine. Just before the tip off, Giannis Antetokounmpo had his left knee flare up with swelling and was unable to play. How did that change the game plan? Head coach Doc Rivers. When Giannis went out in such a late scratch, you know, kind of had a scrambling. We usually go with bigs, and we decided to play small ball the entire game because I really felt like with so much scoring. The only way we're going to win the game is we had to win a three-point game. NFL, the Packers getting ready for their Thursday night game on NBC for Thanksgiving. I asked Jordan Love how he feels about playing in prime time on the holiday. Yeah, it's awesome. You know, anytime you're, you're prime time, especially playing on a day like Thanksgiving where, um, you know, I grew up eating Thanksgiving food and watching football. So, um, you know, a lot of people, that's kind of the tradition. So uh, it's definitely special. You know, we love these prime time games for sure. That's quarterback Jordan Love. With sports, I'm Mike Clemens. We have some great travel weather for you this holiday weekend, but grab the warm jacket because it is going to be cold. Today, partly cloudy, 29. Wind will be northwest at 5. Tonight, 16. Tomorrow, cloudy with flurries in the afternoon. Our high, 24. By Friday and Saturday, highs will only reach the upper teens to low 20s. I'm meteorologist Sean Cable. Temperature now at 19. That's your WBZH Daily News Roundup from Civic Media. Subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you find your podcasts. Find more news at buzzofthenorth.com. The national news cycle never stops, but it can be hard to find news about your local community. Civic Media is dedicated to providing quality local and state news coverage across Wisconsin. With the Civic Media app, you can get notifications about local stories that matter to you and your community. Find the free Civic Media app in your phone's app store and choose notifications from the menu to tell us what kind of news you want to hear about. 